here in the i button and in the description box below you will get complete playlist of fourier series welcome to video number 27 and this video and in this video we are going to solve fourth and most important problem from the topic that is practical harmonic analysis okay this is one of the most important problems and i am sure that after solving this problem you will be in in a, in a condition to understand a lot of things okay yes so before i start this video i would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of uh, for this series with your friends in this way only you can support me so let us start solving this problem the question says find the constant term and the coefficients of first cosine and sine terms in the Fourier expansion of y as given in the following table yes we have values of x and values of y okay so the question is obtain the constant term constant term means a naught okay obtain the constant term constant term means a naught and the coefficient of first sine and first cosine and sine terms okay the coefficient of first cosine term is a1 and the coefficient of first sine term is b1 okay yes it mean it, it means we need to find the value of a naught a1 and b1 okay yes this is what we have concluded after reading this question okay yes and we have values of x and corresponding values of y okay at x equal to 0 y is 9 at x equals to 1 y is 18 and so on okay here you can see at x equal to 0 y equals to 9 at x equals to 5 y is 20 okay since both the values are not same so on taking the values of n okay if you want to take what is the value of n we need to consider this part as well as this part okay so the value of n will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay here we have 6 values of y so we will take n equals to how much 6 okay I hope this part is very much clear to you okay and since nothing is given okay since nothing is given so we will take the total size that is 2 pi okay we will take total size as 2 pi okay yes and we have n equals to 6 so we can take interval size okay interval size will be 2 pi upon 6 2 pi means 360 degree 360 degree upon 6 that is 60 okay so taking interval size as 60 degree okay i hope this this part is clear to you now we have theta equals to 0 degree 60 degree 120 degree 180 degree 240 degree and 300 degree okay yes we are not going to write 360 degree because if you write 360 degree we need to put y equals to 9 because after this value okay after this value or you can say from 360 degree onwards these values are going to repeat itself okay so at theta equals to 0 degree y equals to 9 at theta equals to 180 degree y equals to 28 and so on okay so we can say that is the Fourier series of any function f of x is given by f of x equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation of n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos 2 n pi x upon b minus a plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n sin 2 n pi x upon b minus a okay what is b minus a interval size that is how much 2 pi okay so here since we have b minus a equals to 2 pi and this is said to be general formula okay general formula for Fourier series of any function f of x okay so f of x is y of theta okay because we are finding y in terms of theta so this is y of theta equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equal n equals to 1 to infinity cos of 2 n pi theta upon 2 pi okay because b minus is how much 2 pi okay so here we need to write summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos of 2 n pi theta okay here we have a function of x so we have written x but here we need to find y in terms of theta so it should be theta okay so cos of 2 pi n 2 n pi theta upon 2 pi because b minus a is how much 2 pi okay plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n sin of 2 n pi theta upon 2 pi okay again 2 pi 2 pi gets cancelled so we can say this will that is y of theta will become a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos of n theta okay cos n theta plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n sin n theta okay yes and what is asked in the problem yes that is three things obtain the constant term obtain the coefficient of first sine term obtain the coefficient of first okay cosine term and sine term okay that is we need to find the values of a naught a1 and b1 okay so simply put n equals to 1 and n equals to 1 here and here also so this is going to a naught upon 2 okay summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n into cos n theta 
that is on putting n equals to 1 this will become a1 cos theta if you put n equals to 1 here also you will, you will get b1 into sin theta plus dot 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 okay yes but we need a naught okay a1 and b1 okay now let us form a table so here we have the table that is theta that is 0 degree 60 degree 120 degree 180 degree 240 degree and 300 degree okay yes corresponding theta we can find sin theta and cos theta okay cos theta that is 1 half minus half minus 1 minus half half okay similarly we can find sin theta also that is 0 0.866 okay 0.866 0 minus 0.866 minus 0.866 okay now we have the values of y okay in the given problem it is given that is y is 9 when theta equal to 0 y equals to 18 when theta equals to 60 degree so we have the values of y as 9 18 24 28 26 and 20 okay now we can simply get y cos theta and y sin theta how simply multiply this with this you will get y cos theta that is 9 into 1 that is 9 18 into half that is 9 21 into minus half that is minus 12 28 into minus 1 that is minus 28 26 into minus half that is 13 minus 13 20 into half that is 10 okay now if you want to find the value of y sin theta it is y into sin theta okay y into sin theta that is 9 into 0 0 okay again this into this 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 into this this value this into this 0 this into this minus of this this into this minus of this okay so we have the values of y we have the values of y cos theta we have the values of y sin theta okay so here we can find summation of y that is 125 this is the value of summation of y okay similarly you can get the summation of y cos theta that is minus 25 okay simply add all these values you will get minus 25 this is the value of summation of y cos theta simply add these values you will get minus 3.464 okay minus 3.464 and this is the value of summation of y sin theta okay after finding summation of y summation of y cos theta and summation of y sin theta yes now we'll come to the this part okay yes so a naught equals to a naught equals to 2 into summation of y upon n okay 2 is as it is summation y that is 125 what is n okay n is 6 okay we have already found that is capital n is equals to 6 so simply calculate this value you will get a naught equals to 41.67 value okay simply find similarly we can find the value of a1 also that is 2 into summation of y cos theta upon n summation of y cos theta that is minus 25 okay yes so 2 into minus 25 upon 6 on calculating this value you will get a1 equals to minus of 8.34 okay now again we can find b1 also okay b1 equals to 2 into summation of y sin theta upon n okay so summation of y sin theta is how much minus 3.464 okay so 2 into minus 3.464 upon number of uh, intervals that is 6 okay so here again you can find the value of okay b1 you can find the value okay so a uh, after finding a0 a1 b1 we can say these three are my combined answer because what is a0 a0 is the constant term okay a0 is the constant term what is a1 a0 is the constant term a1 what is a1 that is coefficient of first cosine term okay a1 is the cos, uh, coefficient of first cosine term what is b1 b1 is the coefficient of first sine term okay and this was asked in the problem okay yes here you can see in the problem it was asked obtain the constant term that is a0 the coefficient of first cosine term that is a1 the coefficient of first sine term that is a b1 okay in the Fourier expansion of y given in this here nothing was given in terms of uh, interval size so we have taken 2 pi okay there was nothing given in the in in terms of interval size so we have taken this as 2 pi okay so since the total interval is 6 because this value and this one doesn't match so we will take n as 1 2 3 4 5 6 capital n equals to 6 yes 360 degree 2 pi is how much 360 degree 360 degree upon 6 will give me 60 degree so 60 degree is the interval size okay yes if this is considered as 60 degree 0 degree then this will be 60 degree this will become 120 degree this will become 180 degree this will become 240 degree and this will become 300 degree okay yes 
and we are not taking 360 degree because 360 degree y will become 9 ok so after finding this we can form Fourier series ok Fourier series general formula is this but here b minus equals to this so y of theta can be written as this but in the problem it is asked that is a0 a1 and b1 so we will put okay n equals to 1 here and n equals to 1 here so that we will get y of theta which is this okay now we will form table and finally we, by using these formulas okay by using this formula that is a0 equals to 2 into summation of y upon n you will get a0 value a1 equals to 2 into y summation of y cos theta upon n you will get value of a1 if you uh, if you want to find what is b1 then it is 2 into summation of y into sin theta upon n you will get the value of b1 okay on calculating this value you will get minus okay this value will be minus 1.155 okay yes i am rounding up basically this value comes out to be minus of 1.155 okay put this value over here okay you will get the values of a0 a1 and b1 okay thank you thank you so much